guys, welcome back to another episode. Today is windy as hell. We're just sitting under this ridge right now, so the wind isn't penetrating down here. But I guarantee you when we're on the beach, it's gonna be so windy, it's not even funny. Today, I want to aim to show you that you don't have to wait for good weather to catch fish. We're gonna start this morning by trying to go for some Spanish mackerel, and then we're gonna go into some shallow flats later today, trying to catch big tailor and blue bone. And I'm just going to prove to you, it's going to be windy, but you don't have to wait for good weather if you know what you're doing. There you go. We've got our big tailor bait under the balloon and it's going out in the wind for Spanish mackerel. We might be on to a winner here. Something just exploded on my stick boat. Here it is. What is it? <laughs> I think we got a little Mackie. making our way down this four-wheel drive track and we're going to like this coastal lagoon kind of area and what we're trying to achieve today is I'm trying to get my personal best tailor on lure. I want to get one up around I reckon mid 90s ideally that's what I'd like and we're also going to try and get a blue bone and with that blue bone we're going to do a catch and cook later. The weather's looking pretty mint so this should be pretty good. The Prado's just handling this track perfectly. I love this red dirt. Oh, the water. Man, that water looks insane. I don't know if you can see it. It is so clear. to my tusk fish spot. We collected these rock crabs off the beach last night. We're going to break the legs off first and we're going to use the legs to catch them. And if that doesn't work, we'll start using the bodies. Chad took the blue bone on the small rod. <laughs> Good fun? This is a lot of fun on the small rod. Yeah, I might go a smaller rod. I think the my big rod's freaking them out. <laughs> That's heaps of fun. into this rock here so he's trying to get it out. Why don't I rip it out? Bad luck Chad, refreshing swim. So today the tusk fish just aren't doing their thing so we're going to go up the other side of the coast and try catch some big tailor and then maybe look for tusk fish again after that.
Jesus, we've got a massive, look at the size of them. Got a massive school of tailor here. Yeah, I thought you would be. A good size tailor. I've probably got the smallest one of the lot. Chad's got his there. They're about the same size. We'll keep the first two for Mulloway Bay tonight, eh? That's a bloody beauty, Chad. Yeah. Pretty stoked with that. Yeah, not too, not too bad. I'm running a Hilco slide knock 105 mil for these, Taylor. I reckon we're going to get a few more and then we're going to keep punching up the coast to explore some more ground. Oh, they're coming through. They're everywhere. They, <laughs> oh, I scared them. The, look at them swimming over there. Watch this. I'll hit him. There's a whole school, Chad. I can see him in my polarized here. Watch this, I'm gonna get smacked. Are they chasing? Oh, see that? That was nuts. Yeah, there's heaps. Here we go. I'll just cast my lure, mate. There's heaps behind it. Go, go, go. way bigger oh my god these are good fish chad yeah. oh shit get out there we go i might bring mine in oh that's a lot more solid fish oh that's huge that's a bloody That's a good tailor. <laughs> That's nice, Chad. Holy <laughs> donkey! <laughs> Jesus! We'll take a photo of that one. I thought I had a big tailor until Chad got his. We'll measure Chad's in a second. That thing is massive. So this one is 50. Yeah. So that's a 58, I reckon we can get bigger than that. Yep. Just release him over this side for me, Chad. Water gently. Got him? Yeah, go on, mate. Beautiful. I hooked the shark rod. Right? No, he bit me up. No, he gave it back. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> he's not a big one, but he's a, a tusk fish to begin with. <laughs> What size one have we got? Oh, don't tell me. Yeah, we've got a small one. We've just gone back to blue bone fishing. We've got our first one. This one's just a tiny little bub. So we'll put him back. Look at that, what a beautiful fish. We'll put him back in. After you enjoy these amazing views of these coastal lagoons, I'm gonna quickly kick back a few weeks to when we were fishing around the same area in the shallows and this was the most mental session. So enjoy these clips. Holy crap! 
So we just caught this massive long top. We're making our way back in. It's about a 50k wind, if not more. And we're flicking lures and I caught this horse of a long top. We might have a few more casts and then we'll keep going and we'll do a catch and cook on the way home. Okay. Let's put this big fella back in. We've just found the biggest school of Taylor ever. We're just gonna stop and have a quick cast into them. I reckon the chance of being on a pretty bloody high here. Not a turtle. Okay, get into that school cap. Oh, on already! They're all Taylor! Guys, that wind was just insane on the coast. So we're about 200 k's inland right now. We're heading home. We've got about another three hours into the night to travel. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. We're off and we'll see you again very shortly.